Oh god, I'm so excited Kunal. I am so freaking excited. You always start a podcast this way. I want to know what is the reason of excitement now. Now the reason of excitement is the fact that I finally know uh, who's coming out quickest in the <laughs> in the Barcelona test. Okay, I'd love to know your point of view because you know a lot of us seem puzzled out here. Yes, and the answer is everyone because all the drivers <laughs> of all teams have been quickest on one day or the other even mercedes was quickest once actually and you know we've not had a driver or a team yet that's come out and said you know yeah we built a shit car this year <laughs> we're going to be in the bottom 5 and oh shit i hope the car even reaches the 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 checkered flag at the end of the race so maybe too much of pr machinery at work absolutely formula 1 is now looking puzzled over what the rules are looking puzzled on what the tires are and puzzled on who the quickest man out there is everybody is claiming to be oh we may not be the quickest out there but we're not going to talk about this because we we just don't understand it uh, teams are sandbagging teams are going very very smartly above the tires but yes tires are looking a lot more mm, worse than last year yes they're degrading a lot uh, it should hopefully have some more interesting races like we had in Austin last year and lot many other races we spoke about Okay what I've heard from the drivers is and written stuff some drivers say Australia could have anywhere between 3 to 5 pit stops now that's a bit too much yeah that's going to be fun <laughs> <laughs> all right making up for the uh, refueling rigs being absent in formula 1 going back to the rigged result of formula 1 Paddy Lowe's exit from McLaren comes in just as we make the post this podcast yes that's true actually just a few minutes before we started making notes and exchanging them we've heard paddy lowe's out from mclaren not confirmed by mercedes but <laughs> hopefully on his way to mercedes yes let me remind you a statement that ross brown gave and he said i will leave mercedes is only when paddy lowe will come in so which means this year could be the last year of the great ross brown in formula 1 Yes, the man who's won eight world titles. Eight, eight world titles. Eight world titles. And what a way to treat him! Sad. <laughs> that's sad, but that's how Formula One is. You don't get them the result. Even Michael Schumacher does not count. I know, I know. If I was in Ross's place, and just if I love designing cars so much, I would go to a midfield team and say, you know what? Don't do it for the money. Don't hire me for you know all the moolah, <laughs> but hire me for all the experience and let me help you build a really quicker car if I can. You know, you good. You bring this point because uh, most of the drivers these days are getting hired for the moolah, and uh, well, it's not good for Formula One, but that's how it works. And there's a man called Razia who did not drive the car. Yes, you know, it's a little unfortunate even public with it that he didn't test too much or he didn't test the car enough because there were delayed payments for sponsors. So uh-huh. that, does this could well mean that even Marussia could have. a seat vacant this year uh, one team which is still clueless about who the second driver is going to be is the sahara uh, force india f1 the car looks extremely reliable and sutil has tested the car that's the main talking point in formula 1 this week because sutil has done extremely well is what i've heard well yes i i don't know where you heard that from <laughs> but well yes uh, edrin drove the car Jules drove the car as well. We've had Paul. Hopefully, the team makes a decision in the next couple of days, mm. and uh, we'll have, uh, like Bob Fernley said, official statement mm. that we will have two ca- two cars racing in Melbourne. <laughs> But a few millions less watching the cars because you see Formula One's viewership, if they if may they may call it, the clientele has just fallen down a bit. Yeah, you know there were reports that there's been a drop from 2011 figures to 2012 figures. Yes, and uh, I don't remember what some 515. a uh, million viewers is now down to a little over 500 million what i guess people have missed is we still reach out to half a billion people around the globe half a billion is quite a lot and i'm i cannot believe the fact that when there's a mercedes saga there's hamilton moving there when there's a lot of controversy around a lot many other teams and drivers and, and, and such close cars you cannot uh, miss out on formula 1 action and what i think and uh, mr bernie eccleston i'm really sorry to report this you may have lost a few viewers to us because <laughs> <laughs> but no i would also look at it the other way that rishi we have half a billion people who can actually hear our podcast and let's hope they do sooner than later <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there my friend uh, somebody who's not getting anywhere is narayan karthik and lot of lot of talking around him having a lot of sponsorship from tata and going places with other teams and that's not looking likely tata has traditionally backed him and they they want to back him this year as well is what the reports say yes but my feeling is if he doesn't get a seat in formula 1 
he'll probably go and do the indie car racing etc in americas and do well there and make some money there as well so, and what happens to karun because karun is just as important to us yes karun is uh, important to indian motorsport indian formula 1 fans i have a feeling he will do the world endurance championships uh-huh. and i really hope he does it with a works team a manufacturer's team rather than a private team i'll tell you what and they're going to be doing tell me yeah i'll tell you because paddy lo has taken a gardening leave they're going to be helping him with with seeds and water <laughs> <laughs> so you know honestly i'd love to visit the mclaren technology center and see the gardens by the end of the year i have a feeling it's going to be really well done up <laughs> in aerodynamic positions <laughs> <laughs> well that's how it is that's the inside line kunal and rishi kapoor two absolutely madmen getting the absolute disgusting side and the intelligent one of formula 1 on table here uh, we know it's not very far when cars go racing the vroom vroom will fill up our podcast but till then the all the limited and the unlimited gossip that you do find around the formula 1 paddock is available here you have to keep listening to our sound clouds and our youtube channels both of which will be promoted on twitter and facebook in case you're there you can always add us and uh, kunal did i miss out on anything no just one reminder yes the last podcast we did was amazing fun a lot of people are giving some very good feedback so thank you people for those who Thank you so much. For those who have not heard it yet and for those who want to know who the new 11 Formula 1 drivers are going to be, go back and hear it. Go back and hear it. The final bits of the testing do come out next week. That's when you will be catching our podcast. And yes, to remind you, the uh, in the lead up to the season, we will be discussing rule changes again. We will be discussing the entire lineup again, not that a lot of teams are sure of, but at least we know what it is. And we'll be discussing a lot of tires. Yes, yes, lots of it. They just wear out faster. <laughs> I mean faster than our listenership. <laughs>